I went to the local Walmart with my dad. I was about eight years old at the time. So I was just perusing through the toy section, going from aisle to aisle. And as I'm strolling down through one of the aisles, I noticed that there was a Spider-Man costume. It was just looking at me like, oh, Spider-Man suit. When I saw the suit, I went, oh, I gotta have it. I gotta have it. I gotta have it. But I knew that I couldn't ask my dad to buy the suit for me because my birthday was coming up. So my parents don't really buy me anything until maybe the week of my birthday or on the day of my birthday. So I was out of luck for my dad buying it for me on that day. So then I started to ponder, hmm, how can I get the suit? I really, really want it. Can I have my mom buy it for me? No, she doesn't buy anything for me until my birthday either. Can I maybe get my sister to buy it for me? No, she can't. Maybe if I, nah. Well, what if I, uh... At that point, I kind of just decided to give up because my mom wasn't gonna buy it for me, my dad wasn't gonna buy it for me, my older sister wasn't gonna buy it for me, not my brother, nobody. So I just kind of said, forget it, forget it. Nothing I can do about it. <sighs> so I'm just standing there, sad, feeling as if I have no purpose in the world. But then I thought, wait, I can steal it. I knew I couldn't get away with stealing the whole suit, but I saw the mask sitting at the bottom of the bag. So I can just take the mask and leave the suit. It was really easy to just open up these costume bags back in the day, because it was literally just a plastic bag that you pop open with this little tab and you, you could just reach in and just take stuff. I don't know what Walmart was thinking back in the day or these toy manufacturers, costume manufacturers, but it was so easy to just take things out of packaging back in the day. So then I reach for the bag. I pull it off the shelf. I start looking up and down the aisle, checking to see if anyone's watching me, and I wait for the right moment. I pop open the bag. I quickly shove my arm inside the bag, then I grab the mask and swiftly pull it right out of the bag. Then I close that sucker up and put it right back on the shelf. Then I pull up my shirt and stuff the mask in my undies. Now that I knew that I was an ex-con on the run, I quickly catch up with my dad at the register. I just say, hey dad, I'm back. Let me help you with those groceries really quick. Sparing no time, I help my dad grab those bags and bolt straight for the door. My dad just walking casually because he had no idea. Then about a couple days later, I'm back at my mom's house and I'm just playing in my room, you know, with the Spider-Man mask on, jumping on my bed, pretending that I'm fighting bad guys. I'm all like, huh, huh, huh. Then my mom walks in and asks me, hi mi niño, where'd you get the mask from? Without even preparing a lie, I just say at the top of my head, oh, uh, my dad bought it for me. Yeah, my dad bought it for me at Walmart. Now I'm just waiting for her response, waiting for no further questions about where and how I got the mask. She just says, oh, okay, cool, I like it, and then walks out. Whew, dodged a bullet. Now, I was just hoping that my mom wasn't going to ask my dad personally. Fast forward about a week, I go back to my dad's house, and the neighbors were throwing a Spider-Man themed party for their kid. So they had these really cool paper masks that were designed like a Spider-Man mask, but they weren't that cool looking because it was literally just a piece of cardboard <laughs> and it goes on your face kind of like this and it has a little string and it wraps around your head and it has a little nose opening so that we can breathe and it has these big old hole cut out to your eyes so it was cool but then it wasn't really cool because i had my own spider-man mask that i stole i was flexing on these kids man i was flexing on them because i had the most accurate looking spider-man mask in the party my older brother decided to join me too. He was about maybe 16, 17 at the time. We were all inside the bounce house. And since all the little kids saw that he was larger, they kind of played a game where he was the bad guy and he would just beat up all the Spider-Man and he was beating the bricks out of these kids, man. He was just pushing them. He was just beating the lights out of these kids, man. He was just pushing them away. They were flying across the bounce house. I felt bad for him, man. These kids made the wrong move. As I'm watching this carnage off to the side, this other little girl in the party bounces over to me. She takes notice of my mask. And then she just says to me, you're not the real Spider-Man. And then I just say to her, uh, yeah, I know. Then she just turns around and bounces away. But you know what? As bothered as I was by her comment, she was right. I'm not the real Spider-Man. Spider-Man wouldn't steal his own mask, let alone steal. At that moment, I had to make a decision. Do I want to be a hero, or do I want to be a villain? About a couple months later, I go back to another Walmart, walking down all the toy aisles while my mom is shopping for groceries. And I noticed that there was a new Spider-Man suit, but it was different. 
It was the symbiote suit from Spider-Man 3. Oh, I gotta have it. But my birthday had just passed and my parents had already bought a bunch of gifts for me, so I couldn't get anything else. Then I was thinking, no, I can't steal it. Heroes don't steal things. I can't, heroes don't steal. But then I thought, huh, symbiotes aren't actually heroes, are they? 